So welcome to the coolest tutorial of Python. This is Bitfumes and I am your host Sarthak. In this episode, we are going to talk about lists. Python lists are the collection of various kind of stuffs. So how we can define it? Just like you can define any variable, you just have to name it. So I will name, let's say colors. So colors is a list and this list to create a list, we just have to use these square brackets and inside the square bracket we can give anything we want separated by comma so how it's going to look so first thing red then suppose i will say green and then i will say red green blue okay so let's just use the print statement and see what we are going to get so print of colors and if I run it and right click run or we can use the shortcut. So I will going to use the shortcut green, blue, red, all these things are here. So this is the just a collection of various things. So it's not mandatory that if you are using a string, you need to use a string everywhere. You can use anything. So if I say number here, that is also valid or you can give anything you want. So number, string or what we have. <laughs> you can have various kind of data types but it will be preferred to have same kind of data type for each element of the list. But you know we have three elements in this list. How we can know that uh, how many elements a list contains. So again there is a function just like we can use that function for a string. Suppose I have a a string called name and name is Sarthak okay and if I say len of name it will going to give the length which is 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 similarly and we don't want semicolon we are on Python similarly we can check the length of this list so if I run it it says 3 because this has 3 elements in the list but what if I want to get only one uh, particular element like a second element. So it's not a second element. We can call it. Yes, this is the first. This is the second. This is the third. But in a list, we call element by its index. So this, the first one having index of zero, then second one having index of one and third one having index of two. So to call the second one, that means the having index of one, we just have to say colors, that means the list name and then the index which is two. So zero, one, two. So it will give blue. So I want the green one. So index is one. And yes, you can see we are getting green here. But what if you just want to get the third one? Yes, you can say two so that you can get the third element which is having index of two. So suppose if you don't know how many elements are in the list, that means you have not used the len command, but still you want the last one. For that, just give minus one. It will just start counting from the end. So now it is blue from end. So if I say minus two, yes, you can see green is there. So it if you give minus, it will start counting from the last. So if I now give some other colors like orange and then black and then one more I want gray. So if I say minus two and run it, yeah, we get black because it is starting from the last one. So this is good to have any single element. What if I want to get the range of the elements? That means I want to start from the second element and go till the end. This means I just want to skip the first one. So in Python, you can just get range of the list by saying the element or the index first. So I want to get the index from first. If I just run this, I get green. But if I say here colon, this is super important thing that start from this colon means go till and we have not specified anything. This means it will give you green, blue, orange, black, gray. 
but what if I define some next step also this means start from the first index index having value 1 till index having value 4 so starting from 1 1 index 2 index 3 index and 4 index so normally we can expect from this statement that we can get till black from green till black but this is not the case so if I run it you can see we are not actually getting the last one which is black so this means if you start from 1 you can go till fourth but you don't have to include the fourth so this, this one is not actually included so this is cool so what if I want to have all the list but still I want to use this colon so you don't have to specify anything if you have not specified anything yes it will give all of the list so now suppose i have another list and this list is called days so days are just going to have monday then tuesday then sunday <laughs> i'm not following the sequence but i want to use both of these that means I just want to have the colors as well as the days so how we can get that if I use colors it will give colors if I use days it will give days but if you want to add these things similarly uh, in the string we have seen that we can add two string that means we can just join two strings similarly we can join two lists also so we have two lists and we can use the addition operation to join these two so if i run it yes you can see it will give another list having element of both of the list so the next thing you can deal with the list is that suppose you can see we have the days list which is not in the sequence this means this sunday not has to be there instead we want sunday to be at the first so this means now I can simply say days and because we want to get the first one so this means the index having value 0 so if I say yes we get the Monday but I want to replace this with a new value which is called Sunday so I will say days having index of 0 is new value of Sunday so if I now run this you can see we are getting Sunday and if I get all the list yes Sunday Tuesday Sunday so again this is super easy so instead of doing this what we can do we can say that on the index of second which is here I want Wednesday so Wednesday is here so now if I say run Monday Tuesday and Wednesday this is the way you can actually mutate any value in the list but then after some time you thought that okay after Wednesday we have the Thursday also so I want to add something so days that means having index of 0 1 2 this will be second and I want the third one so third will be Thursday this is good so let's run this oops we are getting error which says you don't have the and any element having the index of 3 so how you can add or mutate its value so now we need to use a new function for the list which is called function or method you can say which is called append append is used to append that means add any element in the list and that element will be added at the last so run it and you can see just at the last after Wednesday Thursday is added here but now we can do some crazy part so you can see both of these lists are having element which is just a string and I have told you that element of list can be anything so why not include days as the element of color or we can simply say colors having index of 0 this means instead of red I want all the days so I just want to say days it is going to be interesting part so if I run it you can see 
the first element is actually itself a list so it's like a list inside a list so nested list is there so now let's remove these two suppose i just want to include here just after tuesday i want to include wednesday but if we follow this step that days having index of 2 will be wednesday if this is the case so now if i run it you can see we have the wednesday instead of sunday but no this is not the case i want to have wednesday and sunday both here so we have a new function or a method for the list which is called insert and in the insert what we need to have in the insert we have to give the index and the object so at the second index i want to add wednesday okay so this is going to actually push wednesday at second position so run it and yes you can see monday tuesday wednesday and also we have the sunday so now suppose i want to remove sunday but i don't know where it is situated on which index it is there so i will use another method which is called remove and i will say remove sunday i don't know where this sunday is situated no i don't know the index so i just want to remove it so before it was included the sunday but let's run it and you can see that sunday is actually removed from the list another interesting function or method for list is that that is called sort and this means it will sort obviously by the letter so run it monday sunday tuesday wednesday it is just alphabetically sorted so if i say colors dot sort and yes okay i have to print colors here colors dot sort black blue green green oh it's nice black blue gray green orange yet <laughs> okay so this is the list and it's related some of the interesting function and there are a lot more you have to research for that and we will use that in the future episode so if you have not subscribed yet please go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification share these video with your friends and don't forget to like bitfilms on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye